Now, a new report has revealed care homes for the elderly are getting worse in a third of areas. And it also warns that many older people now have a real fear of having to move into one. We're an ageing society and it's thought demand for care home places will almost double within the next 20 years. So do you fear having to live in a care home one day? It's something that I guess we all potentially have to discuss at some point in I know, our I'm lives. just watching a lady in the audience and she rolled her eyes when you said that as much as to say, I dread it. Now, I don't know why I dread it so much, but it, it honestly is one of the biggest dreads that I have. And I know that there are good care homes and I know that sometimes people have to go into them for medical reasons. For example, my sister, um, because she became a danger to herself uh, through Alzheimer's, you know, leaving mm. the, going out at night and leaving the gas on but not lit. So in the end, that had to be the case. I understand that. But for some reason, I think my mum must have taken me to a care home to visit somebody. And all my life, I've said, one of my big, don't ever put me in a care home. Promise me you'd never put me in a care home. So around the dinner table, again, my young son, Michael, he said, stop worrying about it, you know. I'll take care of you. So from there on in, I hear people saying, I don't want to be a burden to my children. I would want, and I go, you're right, you're going to look after me. Then. I've got the stair lift in his house organised. No, I haven't really, but he has talked about that. So in a way, I think that, you know, heaven forbid I'm not that bad medically that I have to be. But the other, other thing I've discovered, that the cost of a good care home is almost the same, in fact, practically the same, as somebody who'd come in and care for you in the home. And if I had to have that kind of help, that's what I would opt for. Mm -hmm. I, and I actually have ring fence money. I know this sounds crazy. I have ring fence money for that kind of at-home care. Have you? I have. I don't think that sounds crazy at all. No, yeah, it but I mean, it sounds a bit bizarre, really, but no. that's the truth. But poor Michael, he's stuck with me <laughs> for as long as I live. <laughs> it's a difficult conversation for people to have, and, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't have the choice. Maybe they don't have family no, that they can call upon to help, and that is very yeah. difficult for people if the fear is genuinely there. I think you just have to research them really well. I mean, I, I haven't had that conversation with my children at all. I think I'm still in that thing where I think I'm invincible and I'm always <laughs> going to be around but um but my my Gary's mum I researched care homes for her as well and as did Gary and she was in a fantastic care home I mean it was really really well run and brilliant and you know just a, a wonderful place for her to be but I went around an awful lot that weren't and you just know you just walk in you know straight away from the atmosphere from the people there but I remember I really took something from this particular care home that she was in. The fact that your life becomes reduced to one room and all your stuff is in that room. And then outside, they had a notice board outside every room with a potted biog of the person that was in that room. So they had photos of them with their family and what they'd done for a living and da 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 da. And I remember just going around sometimes looking at these, and there was a professor of medicine and all of this. And I thought, you just, in the end, it all comes down. You're in that one room, and the only thing that matters is who's in that photo frame next to your bed and who gives a damn enough to walk through that door and visit you. Mm. And what you did for a living, how much you earned, the car you drove is irrelevant. Mm. And for me, that was when, that's why I go on so many holidays now. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, <laughs> life's for <laughs> living, get on with it. <laughs> I, I would, I, I mean, of course, like everybody, I would have a great fear of going into a... Home. I think really, I mean, who would who would be happy about the idea of it? But I would go because I wouldn't want to burden my my kids. But what I mean, if they, even what if when they I say feel to you, no, we, you're staying here, Mum. That's it. I don't care what you say. You're staying in the home, and we'll look after you. Well, I, when I think back to when Nanny Thelma was alive, and we were alive, and we kept saying to her, giving her all the different options of how she could come and live with us, and she kept saying, no, 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 I want to stay in my home, no, 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 and she was so adamant and stubborn about it. Um, but she was lonely. She was really lonely, and she used to, you know, every so often grab me by the arm, which was incredible. The strength of that woman. You didn't want her to grab your wrist to say, <laughs> pull you down to the bed. <laughs> you know, it was the best thing I ever did saying no to you the best thing for you and it was the best thing for me. We would have fallen out. She was a very strong character. I'm mm. a very strong character and I would prefer 
my children to come and visit me and, and, and I could pretend to be really nice for that See, hour rather than, <laughs> rather than me being... I find that quite a surprising matter. about you because culturally, because yeah. your mum and dad live next door to you yeah. and, and you're kind of... You do all sort of live in each other's pockets. So yeah. I would have thought you'd have been the classic person that would have said, right, I'm moving in with you lot, you know, your turn <laughs> well, to I would, look after me. I would me. like it, but I would not want them to do it and I would do everything. I would fight everything in my fiber. You say not that while you're young. It. Just you wait till you get a bit yeah. old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, that's Jane hit on a very change. good point of culture, in, in your case as well. Because mm -hmm. in Ireland, that you would mm -hmm. understand this too, there is a great feeling that you have to have your mum and dad at home. You actually yeah. keep them at home with you as long as you can. Mm -hmm. And uh, give or take, I think that... that Philosophy still applies. Have yeah. you had a conversation with Patricia yet about your? Yeah, family? yeah, yes, I've already. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you will be looking after me, love. <laughs> yeah. My mum's a bit like you as well, Gloria. My mum always used, even when we were quite young, used to say, "And our girls, yes. what we do? And do we put me somewhere I don't want to go?" <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> say, don't be silly, mum. Of course, we'd always look oh, after right. my parents. But yeah, it, 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 it's but it's a fear. You see, you're quite calm about it, but I think it's yeah. a genuine fear for an awful lot of people. Yeah. Having said all of that, and we've just said that there there, there are various studies to say that um, these these homes are in decline, good homes. Having said that, the Care Quality Commission did find that between 2017-2018, uh, 22% of authorities saw an increase in failing homes. However, the majority of people in care homes are happy with reports saying 72% of home providers are good and indeed outstanding in 2018. So, I mean, there, there are good places like you yes, just said yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Having to do your research them. and find <laughs> them, it, it is difficult. But yeah, it's a discussion, unfortunately, <laughs> we might all have to have.